welcome today we are going to discuss war model in r so i am basically taking data from vector auto regression article by stock and watson its link is given here when i share the link you will get the paper it's uh, it's uh, you can download it without any restriction so we are uploading the relevant libraries war models structural war models LM test is for uh, the pairwise Granger causality or some other tests and okay uh, library forecast may not be needed here but uh, sometimes we need it so I am uh, to be on safe side I am using library heaven to read data from stata data so I am reading data of journal of economic perspective DTA read underscore DTA if I take its first six values, this data is from 1960, quarter one. If I take the last six values, I have data up to 2005, quarter four. Inflation, unemployment, federal funds rate, whether we, uh, for Taylor rule or forward looking uh, principle, these things are discussed in the article. At the moment, my focus is on reproducing, or you can say uh, uh, working with JEP data set. So I am making it time series data and I need only two means inflation, unemployment and FFR. So I am selecting index two to four variables. I am going to plot all these variables. So you have inflation, unemployment rate, federal funds rate. Okay. Now we are going to select optimal number of legs. So I am writing here SW1, uh, DF1, maximum legs four is quarterly data. So so I am using it. AIC gives four legs. FP gives four. Hanan Quinn Schwarz criterion gives two two legs. You should estimate it at four legs as well as at two legs. But since in the paper there are four legs, so I am reproducing. I am I am working with four legs. So I am naming it this new model as VAR model, and I am using only a very simple command VAR data. This is name of your data. These are the number of legs and in each equation there is constant. So we just run this war model. This is reduced form war model where each variable has its own legs and all other variables legs in the model. So you have first equation inflation leg one, unemployment rate leg one, FFR rate one, leg two, leg three. 2, leg 3, leg 3. Similarly, you will have another equation where you have unemployment rate and legs of all these variables plus constant. You have another equation, uh, FFR. Th this equation, the reduced form war models are only used for forecasting. So, uh, they don't make any economic interpretation, structural wars to explain economic behaviors. So variance covariance, covariance matrix is given, correlation matrix is given here. You can interpret it, call out note. This is a very useful tip when I'll render it. This will, this will give you a note and ref, uh, perform Granger causality. Granger causality is also a descriptive measure. So therefore, please don't interpret it as uh, uh, the test of causality. It's, it's just a descriptive measure. Uh, okay, we run this Granger causality and uh, the, the Granger cause, Granger cause, but please don't interpret it as a test of causality. It has nothing to do with causality. Uh, okay, this I have given you here caution as well. Similarly, you can do pairwise Granger causality by using this, this command. So it's, it's up to you, Granger test, and here we use causality. So <clears throat> fine, uh, no. The next uh, uh, major descriptive measure mentioned in the research paper, Journal of Economic Perse Perspective, is forecast error variance decomposition. Just FEVD is the command, model is the name, and one period ahead forecast, four period ahead, eight period ahead. So we are using these four commands, and now you see. The, uh, the, uh, here you have forecast error variance uh, due to inflation 100% at lag uh, at one period ahead 0 is 0 percent from FFR but when we uh, forecast unemployment rate inflation has 1 percent role unemployment has 99 percent variance due to it and when you, you run it due to uh, uh, for four periods there will be there will be a different story here you will have 93 percent inflation role 2 percent and uh, 3 percent this one 
and in this way you can interpret it read the paper and you will get it at the moment purposes how to run it in uh, r so febd is simple command similarly impulse response function is from reduced form war models as well as from structural war models so here we are going to discuss only from reduced form war models at the end of this post i'll explain you the uh, reduced uh, structural war that has that has more uh, 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 nuisance value than this one so impulse response functions and you can plot these impulse response functions okay so impulse response function so simply write down irf here you have impulse here you have responses and go ahead and just have a plot of it just have a plot of it it may take a time uh, it may take little time so we have to wait to for its execution Since it's taking more than, uh, um, um, uh, it's, it's take, taking a long time, so I'll render the whole document. Okay, next is your structural war. Matrix, you impose these restrictions, upper diagonal zero to identify war model, reduced form war model, then recursive, and then you have a structural war model. Please read the theory. You have here uh, matrix here, and structural war, again, war model, and these restrictions, and structural war. And here you have plot from impulse response from structural war model. Now I am going to render this document. Okay, I hope that this will help, uh, this will be a bit faster. So let's wait, uh, let's go and see how these documents look like. So you see now we have this war model here and you can you can see these codes I'll share this link all these plots the video the two videos I have on war models because this is reduced form war model very simple you have here uh, just data name four legs and you have this war model how we generate it in quarto that's that's interesting one you see here I have a note here and you have performed Granger causality test and you see I have a caution here Granger causality and similarly forecast error variance decomposition impulse response functions by uh, the, its uh, uh, these nine plots are explained in the article please read it this is another video on structural war and th these are results from structural war models and is the uh, impulse response from uh, uh, from structural war model so I purpose of this post this video is simply how you can uh, run war models, S war models, impulse response functions and other descriptive measures easily using R. Thank you for watching. Take care.